The film opens with Laura Jean Covey dancing excitedly before going on her first real date with her now real boyfriend Peter. They go to a fancy restaurant for dinner and then to a park where they join a gathering of people creating lanterns to light up and send up to the sky. Lara joins Kitty and their dad Dan for a Korean family holiday. The girls talk to their cousin Haven, who is surprised to learn that Lara has a boyfriend and that she was the girl in the video making out with Peter in the hot tub. When the family gets home, Lara sees that she has a letter from one of her former crushes, John. She is mortified that he received the letter but even more now that he wrote back. The letter is sweet and heartfelt, which compels Lara to try and write something back to explain herself. At school, Lara explains the John situation to Peter, who is okay with it since he is secure in his relationship with her. The school has set up volunteer programs for the students. Peter volunteers with his friends, while Lara signs up to work at the Bellevue Retirement Home. Lara and Kitty notice that Dan has been talking to their neighbor, Trina, which the sisters think means that they like each other. Kitty wants to make a Valentine's Day card to bring to Trina's house and say it's from Dan, but Lara warns her against it, even though Kitty defends her meddling by saying that's how Lara and Peter got together. Lara starts at Bellevue and meets Edith, Stormy, a whimsical older woman. To Lara's surprise, John is also volunteering at Bellevue, and Stormy is his grandmother. Lara accidentally knocks over a bowl of gumballs and slips on them as soon as she sees him, but he helps her up. John brings up the letter and agrees to let her read it as long as she gives it back. This makes her start to question her relationship and feelings for Peter. It's Valentine's Day at school, and several couples are receiving serenades from an a cappella group. Chris sends one to Peter's friend Trevor, but while Lara expects one from Peter, they never show up. She's even more dismayed to find Peter opening his locker and finding a ton of cards spilling out of his locker. However, Peter later gifts Lara with a silver necklace and a poem that he recites for her. She loves it. At Bellevue, Lara and John start doing work together. She reads her letter to him, recounting how they met as children at a Halloween party, but they were the only two who wore costumes. And the two became friends after that. Stormy sees Lara looking torn up and sits to talk to her. She mentions the poem Peter gave her, but Stormy points out that it's someone else's work and all Peter did was minor edits. Lara later goes to a party with Peter, and after they decide to leave, she brings up the poem to him. Peter admits that he didn't write the poem himself but didn't want to say anything because Lara looked so happy to hear it. She forgives him and they start to make out. If you have come this far in the video, please subscribe to this channel. To never miss amazing content like this. But Lara can't stop feeling inferior to Jen, Peter's ex-girlfriend. So she stops him from taking it any further. While working together, Lara and John bring up old childhood memories, such as a treehouse that they and their friends used to hang out in. When he brings up Peter and Jen, Lara Jean mentions that she and Jen aren't friends anymore but doesn't tell him that she and Peter are together. She brings up how the old treehouse is being taken down by a new family moving in, so they decide to hang out with their old friends there one last time. Lara makes peanut butter chocolate cupcakes per John's request. Peter, Chris, and Trevor show up, but so does Jen unexpectedly. Peter questions Lara as to why she asked John to bring pizza and not him. The friends dig up a time capsule they buried with things they added as kids, but Jen claims to not have put anything in there. Instead, she just keeps chiming in to try and make Lara uncomfortable. When they're done hanging out, John offers to help Lara Jean clean up, but Peter passive-aggressively refers to her as his girlfriend so that he can help her. He confronts Lara about not telling John Ambrose that they're together, leading to them having a fight. Lara finds John playing the piano and chats with him. She apologizes to him for not telling him about Peter, and he forgives her. Dan and Trina start getting closer, and Lara helps him invite her to a family tradition they call, Fakesgiving, 
made up by Lara's mom because she thought March needed a holiday like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Trina comes over, and so does Peter. Lara dresses up for Peter's game, but before she can find him, Chris pulls her aside to tell her that she saw Peter and Jen talking together, and that they looked close. She even took a picture of them. Lara confronts Peter, who says that Jen needed someone to talk to. She also concludes that Peter was waiting for Jen in the hot tub during the ski trip, which is how she found them and recorded the video of them, and she feels that they wouldn't be together if Jen got there first. This leads to them breaking up. Time passes, and both Lara Jean and Peter are clearly miserable. On the trip, she gives him back the necklace. Lara later goes to the treehouse, where Jen finds her. Lara admits that she thought Peter never got over Jen, but realized it was she who never got over General Lara and Jen finally reconcile. Lara goes to a star ball at Bellevue that she and John planned for the retirees, with Stormy giving her a pretty dress and makeover. Lara and John dance together and eventually share a kiss, but they both know that Lara still has feelings for Peter. She apologizes to John, but he understands. She leaves to go find Peter, only to find him already outside since he knew she doesn't like driving in the snow. The two reaffirm their love for each other and get back together. Lara and Peter start walking home together. They then kiss and appear as though they are floating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always until the next time.